Uh, I, it's hard, Daniel, to sort of talk about this without, you know, also noting that with Michelle Bachman leaving Congress, it, it does mean uh, the end eventually uh, of. And of course, there we are. Uh, David Schuster was beginning to explain. And also one who has been the subject of, uh, of the subject of a complete mockery, uh, and that is uh, here's Michelle Bachman's greatest hits and and some reaction by the anchors on CNN who normally try to play it pretty straight, who came alive in their sort of um, mocking and reaction to Michelle Bachman. Listen to this. It didn't matter the color of their skin. It didn't matter their language. It didn't e matter their economic status. Once you got here, we were all the same. Irish immigrants didn't feel the same walking past storefronts with signs reading no Irish need apply. And of course, enslaved Africans certainly didn't feel the same when they were brought here against their will. Just like John Wayne was from Waterloo, Iowa, that's the kind of spirit that I have too. You said John Wayne was from Waterloo when John Wayne Gacy, the serial killer, lived there for a time. Uh, you know, a instead of talking about the economic message, people are picking up on a gaffe. Before we get started, let's all say happy birthday to Elvis Presley today. Happy birthday! No. Yeah. Uh, it's no. not Elvis's birthday. Mm. Carbon dioxide is not a harmful gas, it is a harmless gas. There isn't a weekend that hasn't gone by that someone says to me, Michelle, what in the world are you all waiting for in Congress? Why aren't you impeaching the president? That's what I, what I want to ask you about is the fact that you said that he had, you talked about the excesses that he's engaged in, the fact that he has a dog walker, which is not true. The, the big point of my speech was about Benghazi. We could go on and on with Michelle Bachman. I mean, there she was in New Hampshire talking about the first shots fired in the Revolutionary War at Concord, but it wasn't Concord, New Hampshire. That was Concord, Massachusetts. Uh, I know, Dan, you probably have your own favorites, but you know, we haven't seen somebody like Michelle Bachman on the political scene in, in some time, and I think her departure is going to be welcome for, for all of us, for all of us who care about trying to bring our politics back a little bit from the edge.